Okay, I was riding Cretans while I was working at this warehouse a year ago, but I'm not working here anymore. It's a Saturday, so no one's here. I came here to take pictures, actually, of my last book and my work in progress. Went across the street to Avocado Burger and got me a latte. So uh, I'm going to send them uh, the pictures that I took, you know, and if he sends me an address, I'll send the guy, he worked with me here, I'll send him uh, copies of Blender and Cretans. Very well then. Having, having Mother's Day uh, lunch here at the Black Bear Diner. Sprinkling, sprinkling right now. There's a few bears over here. Film them. I love this. I love the, the bears outside. <laughs> There's the bears right here. I used to work at a warehouse right up here. Um, one of my buddies asked what I'm up to, so I gotta show him my books. I can use one of the restaurants across the street is a photo op. There's a, this is an airport right over here by the way. This is Ontario International Airport. Wouldn't you know it? LAX is not the only one in Southern California. Want to avoid a lot of traffic? This is where you go. I was hoping the plane would be flying over. You get real low. So, uh, right over here to the right, you'll see a whole bunch of airplanes. See all those UPS planes right there? That's where they land. Those are the UPS airplanes. And, uh, we worked at the warehouse on the left. I'm not going to necessarily go there right now for whatever reason. I'm going to take a picture after I saw filming. But this, uh, this was a favorite place to go. It's called the Avocado Burger. Avocado Burger right here on the right. Hello there, AuthorTube Planet. Today is Saturday, the day before Mother's Day. In another video, I was talking about my Viking hat. This is what I meant by my Viking hat. <laughs> Viking helmet, Viking hat. Um, I was talking about the grapevine, and that's what the video was, the grapevine, and how word gets around in the modern era with all this Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and social media. And I was talking about, hypothetically, if I was wearing my Viking hat in a video, and then the next day at work, which tomorrow's Sunday, I don't know if it'll work tomorrow, but... Let's suppose when I go to work Monday, if they're all of a sudden talking about the Minnesota Vikings, it's hypothetical. Because uh, people don't always talk directly. It even seems that seldom, seldom do they ever talk directly anymore. But I just went to um, a place called the Black Bear Diner. It's pretty new out here. 
locally. I guess they have a bunch of them up north in, you know, Northern California. Um, one of my buddies texted me yesterday. I hadn't heard from him in a few months since around the Super Bowl. We used to work together about a year ago. And he asked if I had any projects going on. And by that, probably he means the books. So uh, since the last time I've talked to him, I finished Cretans. So I'll probably see if he wants me to send it to him. Gives me his address, I'll be happy to send it to him. I might send him my work in progress, which is called Blunder. I was going to do laundry, but I think I'm going to probably watch a little Netflix. I'm nearing the end of The Walking Dead right now. Love that show. Love that show, The Walking Dead. But I got like one season left, and I was watching it every day, basically, when I first started. And then to make it last, I stopped watching it every day. And now it's like once every every few weeks, I'll watch it. But uh, I discovered another show because this is what I do. Um, I finished watching Lost. That took me many years because the last season I got it on Blu-ray. I didn't have a Blu-ray player, so I had to buy a Blu-ray player. Or I could have just bought it on DVD or something. But it's no longer on Netflix. But it used to be. And when I near the end of a series, I start watching another. So that, you know, there's not this gap. And I'm not like, I don't know. It's just a nice little outlet. So I started watching this show called The Order. On Netflix. The Order. And it reminds me of my life. When I was going to college in the 90s. Um, the opening scenes were very much reminiscent of places I stayed. To the point that I'm like, wow, dude, these guys, these guys, man, whoever developed this show. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I'll give you an example. I wrote Kira Body and released it two years ago. And I don't know when this show started. I, I gotta check it out. But my secret society, one of my secret societies in my book, and they use masks, by the way, they use masks. My secret society is called the Heuristic Order of Lacrimose Contrarians. And for short, they just call them the Contrarians. And in this show, the big secret society is called. The Hermetic Order, not Heuristic, Hermetic. Hermetic Order of the Blue Rose. I don't know. I, I think it's the, the the Blue Rose is something big in, in, in their thing, and I think that's what it is. But the, the thing that really sank in was the Hermetic versus Heuristic. Heuristic means you learn through experience. Lacrimose is prone to weeping. Which is a little bit sarcasm. It's, you know, aim low, hit high, you know? Um, there's some philosophy to it. But I watched the pilot episode, and I really enjoyed the show. There's a lot of magic involved, which I kind of like. In Cretans, Cretans touches on magic and alternate dimensions and, you know, a lot of neat stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a hold of my buddy. I'm going to text him and tell him I have uh, finished a book since last time we talked and working on another. And if he wants me to send it, then I'll send it. And then I'll probably watch one of the later, you know, last episodes of The Walking Dead. And then uh, maybe the second episode of The Order. Oh, 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 I wanted to mention this. Okay. The room I stayed in my first year when I was going to a school in Claremont looked very similar to the protagonist room. And, and, and uh, right here, my dad has a workshop. He's an electrician. You know, you'll see uh, tools. There's a lot of tools out here. He's retired, but 
you know, he has all kind of electrical tools and stuff, you know. But in here, it's like his workshop. And the guy's grandpa, actually, in the order, had a, his own little garage or workshop, whatever it is. And it looked very much like what's in her. It's just cosmic, freaky, coincidental. Call it what you want. All right, guys. I'm out.